Well, what's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast, and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing some battles in the Open Ultra League, running a triple glass cannon team consisting of Gengar in the lead with a triple ghost moveset, we've got Shiny Lucario as the safe swap, running the double nukes in close combat and shadow ball, and then we've got my newly made Pangoro as a closer, running night slash and close combat. So I actually thought this team was pretty solid overall, it does fare reasonably well against some of the XL Pokemon, although some of them are kind of difficult to deal with. But yeah, I still thought it was a pretty decent team overall. So right now, Saturday the 2nd of July, it's actually my birthday and I'm in Berlin participating in the Berlin Go Fest. So feel free to wish me a happy birthday in the comment section and as well wish me some shiny luck for the Go Fest event. But because of that, I've had to pre-record this video. So these battles are actually from the previous Ultra League rotation. And this was from the final day as well. And that's where the game really just turned to absolute dog poo. There were lots of instances of the game freezing for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, sometimes even upwards of a minute. And that wasn't specifically just GBL, it was the entire game as well. This was the introduction of where some wins would count as losses. So especially in the second set, you're gonna see a few problems with the game. But overall, I had a lot of fun running this team, even with those issues. But just be aware that it's going to be kind of annoying to watch at times, but there's nothing I can do about that. But with that being said, let's just get into the battles now. So going into the first game, we lead Gengar into a Trevenant. So this is a reasonably neutral lead here. I'm going to go straight for the Shadow Punch. My opponent manages to catch it on a Kingdra, so a very good catch by them. I'm going to switch into Lucario here as we do resist the Dragon Breaths. Now I'm going to try and go for a full counter farm down. I'm going to be able to, as long as they don't debuff my attack, but they do, and unfortunately it means I'm going to have to throw a charge move here. Otherwise, they will be able to Dragon Breath farm me down. Now my opponent has seen close combat, have they been keeping track of my energy because I'm not at a shadow ball just yet? They haven't and they do shield that up so that is really good for me. A close combat is double resisted so it wouldn't have done too much damage. I'm actually going to come in with Pangoro here as we do tank shadow balls very nicely and as well seed bombs aren't going to do too much damage. I actually switch into the Gengar here. This is going to be another seed bomb but I shield it up anyway don't really know what's in the back. It's actually a Shadow Ampharos. I'm going for the Shadow Ball and boom, we nearly take them out. I'm able to Shadow Claw, farm them down and now at this point they should be in a range where I can Snarl, farm them down. I go for the Night Slash here, but I don't really need to. They're gonna need more than a Seed Bomb to take me out. So my opponent doesn't throw the move there and I'm able to take that game. Into the next game, we lead Gengar into a Talonflame, so a reasonably neutral lead. I just go straight for the Shadow Ball every single time because this will either do so much damage that it nearly takes them out or it will get a shield. And we do get a shield, so not the thing I was hoping for, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to shield up the Flame Charge and at this point I am going to go for a Shadow Punch on the CMP tire, but my opponent catches my move once again, this time into a Greedent, but that is perfectly fine. We have the absolute best response to a Greedent in Lucario as we resist every single charge move and fast move that they have. Now we're just going to completely farm them down with counters. The good thing about this is that we'll get extremely low and as well we're able to completely farm them down without throwing a move. They get to a final body slam and we take them out with counter. I'm going to go straight for the Shadow Ball expecting the Talonflame to come in. They actually come in with Scrafty. Shadow Ball is resisted, so this is a very good play by my opponent, but do they know about close combat? I'm not sure they do, and boom, we take out the Scrafty. My opponent wasn't expecting that at all. I go for a Night Slash here against this Talonflame. We get a shield from my opponent. It's a CMP tie. I'm going to shield this up. It could be a Brave Bird. It's actually just a Flame Charge, but that's fine. They go for another move here, and they really need to go for the Brave Bird, but they don't, and I'm able to get to a Night Slash here. And I'm going to be able to take out this talent flame. So GG's to that opponent there. A close game, but I was able to take it because my opponent did not expect the double nukes on Lucario. 
Now into the next game, we lead into a Blaziken, so a very good lead for me as I triple resist the counters. They switch into a wall rain, and I have to tell you that this is my first set running this team, so I'm not really familiar with how to play it. So I decide actually, after I got baited, I'm just gonna shield once and completely commit to a counter farm down here. I'll come out with nearly 100 energy. I go for a close combat here against this Blaziken. Perhaps what I should have done is go for a Shadow Ball first, show that I go for the Shadow Ball, and then go for a close combat as they wouldn't expect it but I go for the double close combat here get both shields and I'm able to get to a shadow punch just before they get to a charge move of their own and now my opponent goes for a charge move here this is easily going to take me out if it's a blast burn which it is boom we get absolutely destroyed there I'm actually going to come in with the blaze uh, with the pangoro here my opponent instantly switches out and now this is very good for me because Trevenant does not want to see these night slashes they're able to tank the first one but I should be able to easily get to a night slash here and we're able to I'm going to go for it here and this will take out the Trevenant and then at this point I should be able to just farm them down with the Lucario and that's exactly what I do. I come in, snipe the, Luca uh, snipe the Blaziken with my Lucario and I'm able to take that game. Into the next game we lead into a Giratina, so a fairly neutral matchup here. If I can get to a Shadow Ball that would nearly take them out, but I'm actually going to go straight for a Shadow Punch here. It's a CMP tie here and that is fine. I'm actually going to let it go through and then switch into Lucario because I don't want to get farmed down. They come in with an S Cavalier. I'm going for the close combat. Perhaps I should have gone for it straight away, expecting a no shield as they don't expect the close combat. But since I went all the way up to a Shadow Ball, we get a shield and that's fine. I'm going to shield this up and hopefully I can get to a Shadow Punch as they get to the drill run here and that is perfect this should be taken out from this range and it does and this opponent is going to come straight in with the Giratina so I really should have waited out the switch clock before I came in with the Gengar they go for a Dragon Claw it doesn't do too much damage and now they have a Fire Spin Charizard in the back and I don't think I'm going to be able to win this game unfortunately Pangoro doesn't have the worst matchup with Charizard but I am not going to be able to flip it here. We get a Night Slash through. We don't have any boosts, so this is not looking great for us. I shield the move. It's just a Dragon Claw. My opponent is able to get to another Dragon Claw here. This will nearly take me out, and then one more Fire Spin should do the trick, and they're able to win that game. So GG's to that opponent there. Kind of misplayed it by coming in too soon with the Gengar, but GG's anyway. Now here, my opponent switches into a Dragalgy. I have no clue what to do, uh, so I switch into Lucario because I do resist these Dragon Tails and we can tank two charge moves. So I'm actually going to commit no shields on, on my Lucario, go for a Shadow Ball and we should at least get a shield back from my opponent, which I'm able to do, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Now I'm going to come in with the Pangoro here, they go for one fast move and throw the Aquatel straight away, so I'm going to shield this up and then farm up to four Snarls, and this should be a CMP tire with a next Aquatel. My opponent lets it go through, I get a boost, so I'm actually staying in, go for the close combat here. Boosted close combat, it's going to do a lot of damage against the Nine Tails, and I go straight in with the Gengar here. My opponent chooses not to shield it. We have over farmed earlier so I get to the Shadow Ball on the CMB tie with a crunch here. My opponent lets it go through and it does massive resisted damage there. And it was a CMP tie, so that is perfect. Now I'm going to come in with the Pangoro here. I do have to bait a Night Slash, but they throw on alignment so I get a full extra snarl through. I go for the Night Slash bait. And can we get a shield from my opponent? I'm able to, and now I'm able to get to a close combat. And this will easily take up the Drapion from this range. And we're able to take that game. So GG's, another very close game there. Wasn't too sure what to do about that Dragology, but I was able to play around it anyway. So into the next set here, we lead into a wall rain. And now I'm going to switch, trying to catch an Icicle Spear. Unfortunately, my opponent knows that... Um, or knows not to throw straight away and yeah not the best there I'm gonna go for a shadow ball just before they're able to throw a flame charge here we land it it does a lot of damage and my opponent is trying to farm me down I go for a move here and my opponent 
actually just lets it go through. So I'm able to flip switch advantage there and I don't give I don't give a massive farm to my opponent either. I'm actually going to come in with the Gengar here, completely sacrifice it. I'll let this go through. It is just a seed bomb, so I'm going to go for a Shadow Punch here. My opponent catches it on the wall range, so a very good catch by them. I'm going to switch into the Pangoro. I should be able to get to a Night Slash here, and this should either get a shield or take him out. We actually just take him out, and that is fine. We're in a very good position now. I can let this move go through, and then I should be able to go for a Night Slash after one Snarl here. My opponent does shield it up, but I'm going to be able to get to another Night Slash. I've got the energy for it now, so I will shield up the Seed Bomb, go for the Night Slash, and this should be taking out the Trevenant here. And it does, so we're able to take that game. So GG's to that opponent there. A very good catch in the middle of that game, but still not able to come back from it. Now into this game, and unfortunately this is where the crazy lag begins. Now we are lagging a ton and we're going to catch up except we're not, we haven't done as many fast moves as my opponent has done. They get to a Dragon Claw and honestly I have no clue how much energy they have. They instant switch into Trevenant so this is the Tho Tactical team of uh, Shadow Dragonite, Trevenant and S Cavalier in the back. So there's pretty much no chance that I have to win this unfortunately so I am going to shield this up and completely farm them down and I'm just barely able to farm them down before they get to another charge move I go for the Night Slash here no shielded by my opponent so I'm going to go for another Night Slash here and my opponent is in a very good position now because I only have a Lucario they have an S Cavalier the only play is if they let this go because they think it's a power up punch but they showed it up, so yeah, I'm going to stop attacking because there's no chance of me winning this game. So GG's to that opponent there. Unfortunately, the lag at the start definitely hindered us, but it, there was nothing my opponent could do about it either. They obviously also lagged as well, although less so than me. Now here, up against the wall rain, I've learnt my lesson. I'm just going straight for the close combat. We're able to take them out, and now here against this Trevenant, they're going to have to throw... Otherwise, I'm going to be able to get to a Shadow Ball and I will be forcing a shield against this Trevenant, although they have found up a ton of energy now. Fortunately, we have Pangoro here, so the Shadow Ball is not going to do much damage. So instead, they're going to be spamming Seed Bombs. So they go for the first Seed Bomb there. I throw straight away expecting a CMP tie, but my opponent actually gets an extra fast move through. My opponent then throws on alignment, so I get an extra Snarl through. Going to go for the instant switch there my opponent also switches into a swamper so uh, pretty crazy that we both switched out there I land the shadow ball and at this point I am actually going to shield this up hopefully I can shadow claw farm them down but if not then we do force them to throw their energy so that's perfect I'm going to be able to come in with Pangoro we already have a night slash I snarl them down and I'm going to go for the night slash here against the Trevenant and we're able to take that game. So GG's to that opponent there. A pretty close game. And I think they probably had a seed bomb. But they were trying to get to the shadow ball. Into the next game we lead into a Swampert. So not a very good lead. I actually switch into Lucario. And somehow my opponent actually gets an extra fast move. And throws their charge move. Before I could get my fast move through. Once again I'm met with a... Talonflame here, I go for the Shadow Ball, we land it and actually I'm going to be able to get to a close combat once again and hopefully if they let us go I can flip switch advantage and I'm able to, so that is perfect. But still I don't have a very good answer for this one put, so I'm going to come in with the Pangoro here and I can tank one Hydro Cannon so I will let this go through. And I'm going to go for the Night Slash straight away. This will do a decent amount of damage to the Swampert. I actually get a shield and we simultaneously swap once again. But this time Gengar has a very good matchup against Cresselia. Especially when they throw as soon as they get to a Moonblast. So that I know that I don't have to shield a potential future site. I go straight for the Shadow Ball. This is going to boom take out the Cresselia. I get to a Shadow Punch here. And this should get the final shield. Or take the Swampert very low. We do get the shield and I'm barely able able to get to one more shadow punch against this swampert it doesn't take him out but one more shadow claw and we simultaneously ko 
So GG's to that opponent and then into I think the final battle of this video we lead into a Galarian Stunfisk, a switch on the fifth fast move there hoping that they go for a rock slide but that was pretty stupid because my opponent doesn't do that. We're met with a Jellicent so things are not looking ideal for us. We go for the Shadow Ball, it does land but Jellicent is tanky and it tanks that fairly well. I'm not going to commit a shield here so I'm going to let the Lucario go down and fortunately we are going to be able to farm them down with the Pangoro here. They throw instantly, it's just a bubble beam so that's fine, I don't mind if they throw another bubble beam as well and they do exactly that so it just means I'm going to get extra snarl farm here and I'm able to come out with almost 100 energy there, actually I think it was 100 energy, I go for a close combat up against Amanda Buzz, we actually get a shield and my opponent switches out instead of staying in against the Gengar, so things are actually looking good for us, until we're met with lag, oh my days, this is so frustrating, and we're lagging, we're still lagging, and my charge move does barely any damage there and so I'm able to get to another shadow ball but at this point my opponent can easily shield this up it is a CMP tie with my opponent they go for a rock slide they undercharge it slightly they're able to farm me down I have no clue how much energy they've got because of all that lag so we go straight for the close combat it doesn't really matter that we debuff our defense because the snarls do absolutely nothing to the pangoro I'm going to go for a close combat here against this Mandibuzz, unfortunately it doesn't quite do enough damage so one more close combat is not going to be taking out this Mandibuzz and we will be losing this game but if I'd have been able to land that full power Shadow Ball then maybe things would have been different but like that we are going to lose this game so as well we get the lag out of the battle here so even if we did win that game it would have been credited as a loss so yeah the game was incredibly broken at that point in time but thankfully it is working a lot better now so if you did enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like leave a comment letting me know and as well if you're not yet subscribed yet and you want to see more content like this in the future then make sure you hit that subscribe button now this is going to be the final video where i don't have a question of the day so don't worry if you're missing the question of the day it will be returning in my next video as well as shout outs for the question of the day i did a few videos ago but with that being said thank you all so much for watching today's video and i hope you have a great rest of your day.